What if I told you anyone, yes, anyone could become a millionaire? And that is by setting up a retirement plan early. There's a lot of mystery and confusion behind retirement plans, so you're about to see all the retirement basics you need to know. All right, let's get right into it. Retirement plans and retirement investing is all based off the principle of compound interest. So basically compound interest is the principle of accruing interest on interest you've earned. So let's just take the basic example of you putting a lump sum of money into say a savings account. Year after year, you'll earn interest on the money you originally put in, but then the years to come, you'll actually earn interest on the initial amount you put in plus any money you've earned in interest. So over time, your money builds and builds and it follows an exponential curve of growth. So here's a simple diagram of how compound interest works and why you need to start early rather than waiting to do retirement investing. So you can see we have three scenarios, Michael, Jennifer, and Sam. Michael has started very early on in his life actually investing while Sam has waited. And you can even see at the same rate of return, Michael has way more money in the long run than Sam because the way compound interest works, you really need to start and let time do the work. So how does compound interest work specifically for retirement investing and retirement accounts? Before we talk about the types of retirement accounts and the benefits of retirement accounts over normal investing accounts, let's just do some simple math to show you how much money you can actually make in the long run when starting investing in retirement early. So let's say you have an initial investment of zero dollars. You're literally starting out from nothing. Let's just assume you're 25 years old and you've budgeted $325 monthly to put into a retirement account. We're gonna say you're gonna earn an estimated interest rate of 8% just because that's generally what the US stock market does over long periods of time. Usually you'll get around a seven to 9% average over a long period. Now this money will be compounded annually because you can expect around 8% return per year. And we're going to do this for 40 years. So let's say you're starting out 25, zero dollars. How much will you have after 40 years when you're 65? Now just putting in $325 into a retirement account over 40 years will yield you a little bit over $1 million. And you can even see in this graph that it really does take a long time for that money to start growing exponentially. You really wanna start early. And as you can see in those kind of first third to first half of the time period, you're not making a bunch of money, but then once the money starts building on itself and it's compounded over and over, you get great growth. And that will just keep going past the 40 years. So that's the general concept of how you can get rich just by using a retirement account. But which kind of account should you use? So I'm gonna go over two of the most popular retirement accounts, a 401k and a Roth IRA. So the main positives of these retirement accounts are that they are tax advantaged. So they have better tax incentives than just a traditional investing account, meaning you'll pay less money in the long run for taxes. All right, so here's how a 401k works. A 401k is generally set up by your employer and the money you contribute is pre-tax, meaning the money you put into your 401k is not subject to income tax. Now, when you eventually retire and take money out of the account, you will have to pay taxes on the returns you've made. So any investments into the account, you won't have to pay any taxes for that, but any profit you have made, meaning any interest you've accrued, you do have to pay tax on that. And another great advantage of a 401k is that usually the employer that sponsors the 401k will give you a match percentage. So let's just say your employer matches up to 5%. This means up to 5% of your salary, they will actually match your contributions. So let's say I put in 5% of my salary to my 401k, they'll actually match it and put the same amount in. That's free money going straight into your investing account for retirement, for that money to grow over all those years. And just note for 401ks, there is a contribution limit of $19,500 as of 2020, so that's the max amount you can put into that account per year. Okay, so let's talk about another retirement account option, the Roth IRA. A Roth IRA or individual retirement account is set up by yourself and not your employer. 
With a Roth IRA, the money you contribute is post income tax. So you are going to be taxed on your income. Then you can contribute that money into the account. But the great thing with a Roth IRA, when you take that money out in the future for retirement, you do not pay any taxes on those returns like you would in a traditional 401k. Now with a Roth IRA, you actually have a maximum contribution limit of $6,000 per year or $7,000 per year if you're over the age of 50. IRAs also have some income limits. So if you're single and make over $139,000 a year, or if you're married and make over $206,000 a year joint, you are not eligible for a Roth IRA at all. This is what I would do if I were deciding between a 401k or Roth IRA. I would actually do both. So let's say I'm employed by someone that does do 5% matching for the 401k. I would do that 5% matching towards that 401k and then with any extra money I wanted to invest towards retirement, I would put it in a Roth IRA. Now, just as a reminder, I'm not a financial professional, so definitely consult your own professional for advice before doing any of this. All you need to know from this video is that you need to start your investing for retirement now if you have not started already and beef up those contributions, change around your budget so you can put more into your retirement so that money can grow over time and you'll be rich when it's time to retire. Be sure to go give this video a like and comment down below if you enjoyed it and learned something. Be sure to share it and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos of how money actually works. Thanks for watching everyone and here's some videos you might like.